Imagine, a morphing wing that actively recontours its airfoil camber to get maximum efficiency out of every moment. Imagine this wing as a single, compliant mechanism contained in a single, seamless, non-stretchable composite with an underlying rib structure whose camber change is achieved by elastic bending. The Air Force Research Laboratory has designed such a wing under the VCCW program, which stands for Variable Camber Compliant Wing, or V-Wing. The work was undertaken as part of the Air Force mission to improve technological capability in all arenas while improving overall efficiency. Without question, the V-Wing achieves these objectives with the added benefit of decreasing noise. So this is a breakthrough technology that everyone has tried to achieve to build a truly flexible wing. So we are very excited about exploring the opportunities that this technology can offer to the Air Force's future aircraft development. The first version of the wing had a six-foot wingspan and a two-foot cord designed as a low-speed technology demonstration. The wing was tested in AFRL's vertical wind tunnel and successfully demonstrated the ability to design, build and test a compliant variable camber wing under aerodynamic load. This testing proved that the wing could deform under aerodynamic load, thereby reducing the weight of flap structures by 10%. It also decreased structural loading and increased aerodynamic efficiency by 12%. Recently, this research has led to adaptive winglet design, an approximately $1 million two-year program for mobility applications to address the problem of high wing loading that occurs when a winglet is retrofitted to existing fleet vehicles. Using similar technology, the Air Force Research Laboratory is developing a capability to reduce wing bending moments by changing the shape of the winglet. If it is successful, the system will transition to resolve current problems in fleet vehicles in the near future. This design is a game changer. It is very simple, with the field parts and better results. To keep the cost down, that we are doing the design, fabrication, and testing all in-house here at Air Force Research Laboratory. We are addressing many issues with one revolutionary design, including endurance and life expectancy. The Air Force is currently pursuing two patent applications for this revolutionary technology and is looking to partner with industry to commercialize the technology in various military and non-military markets. If we design right, it will last forever. 